Canadian Academy guards Amelia and Maggie Solarski are back in the starting lineup for their senior season with the girls' basketball team. The Twins have helped the Red Wings make back-to-back -back trips to state, including a 4A runner-up finish last season. This year, another Solarski is ready to burst into the spotlight for the Bennett boys team as younger brother Gabe starts his first varsity season as a sophomore. Despite this being his varsity debut, Gabe Solarski became one of the fastest rising names in the basketball recruiting circle over the summer. Now his older sisters are excited to see him make a significant impact for a Red Wing program that also finished as the 4A runner-up last season. Over the summer, uh, he's been getting a bunch of offers, Big Ten offers, but he never has really played in a varsity game. So it was really exciting to see them start off on a good note and him playing in a varsity game. So it was really nice. I was really excited for him, and now that he he's actually has a starting spot, I'm just really excited that for him to like start playing, well, he has been playing, and just for him to like show off what he has in his talent, and I'm just really excited for him. Because the Red Wing roster was filled with talented seniors, Gabe spent his freshman year on the sophomore team so he would be able to see the court more often and develop. His time playing with Bennett and playing on the EYBL circuit has impressed college scouts resulting in scholarship offers from powerhouse programs like Illinois, Michigan State, Michigan, Wisconsin, Tennessee, and Mizzou. With the newfound attention, he knows he has to continue the grind and deliver when the lights are the brightest if he wants to succeed down the road. It's different than sophomore. sophomores, I can tell you that. The intensity of the game, you know, playing up and down. I know it's girls basketball, it's a little different than boys, but just the intensity of the game, playing on both sides of the floor, not just offense, but defense as well. Despite the loss of four starters from last year, Gabe and the Red Wings are off to a strong start to the season, which includes winning the St. Charles East Thanksgiving Tournament, where he earned tournament MVP. This early performance is no surprise to the rest of the Solarski household, as the family itself is just eat, sleep, and basketball this time of year. So we've been playing basketball our whole lives together, and finally Gabe being on varsity, all of us together, it's really exciting, and uh, I'm excited for all the other games to come and all that. We all train together, so it's kind of, they, you know, they simulate defense for me and stuff, so they just kind of, you know, they're following me and stuff so they could get me prepared because, I mean, there's going to be fouls in games and you just got to play through it. Outside of Bennett, the three always stay in training mode, and while they try to improve their game, things can get a little competitive on the driveway. Every single time we are training, every single one-on-one, -on -one, we are going at each other and trying to get each other better each day and just, you know, trying to push each other. We always play one-on-one, -on -one, so it's obviously harder because he likes to block us all the time. But um, we still have a fun time and going one-on-one, -on -one, you know, just being competitive with each other, getting each other better every day, so. I get a couple buckets, you know, put them in the post sometimes, and then I just got some words to exchange, but, you know, they're always, they get a bucket on me, they start celebrating like crazy. Oh, I just scored on you, and I'm just like, that'll be the last time. That competitiveness just fuels this tight-knit family up for success on the court. Amelia and Maggie hope to end their high school career at the top of the mountain, while Gabe hopes to get his first taste of the state experience himself. While he still has a couple years to decide on his next step, the Twins are each taking their towns to Hillsdale College in Michigan next season. The two will certainly miss rocking their Red Wing uniforms, but they are excited for what their senior seasons will bring, as well as for their brother's future. I think he's going to get better every uh, each day. You know, next year I think he's going to kill it, and his senior year especially, I think he's just going to get better and better every day. For Naperville Sports Weekly, I'm Patrick Cotto.